Hey guys, so it is Sunday morning and I had a really rough night last night. BJ, um, actually Aaron and Bryson are sick, but Bryson seems to have it worse. Um, he seems to be having some type of headache or something because he keeps complaining that his head hurts. Um, and he had a fever last night, so I'm getting ready to run into Rite Aid. And because um, I ran out of children's motion last night, so I think I'm going to get him some children's Tylenol right now. Um, but let's go see um, what's going on in Rite Aid because they be having good prices for the medication. <laughs> of children's fever reducer and pain reliever it all works the same same ingredients name brand just costs more so i'm actually going to church with my dad because i don't know if i've mentioned probably not because i haven't really been vlogging but um i don't know if you could tell but our back window <laughs> is busted um chronicles of living in the hood so <laughs> I don't like driving long distances in churches um, in a different city. Um, so my dad's actually going to come pick me up and go to church. I'm not taking the kids because, like I said, they feel under the weather. I'm definitely feeling much better now. Jay is kind of feeling it. That's usually how it goes. It's the children, then me, and then Jay. That's always how it goes. And then, um, yeah. But like I said, Bryson is just not feeling great. He's he's laying in bed saying he's in pain. I hate to see him like that. I hate my baby's like super happy and super energetic. And right now he's just, you know, whining. And last night he just cried and cried and cried and kept saying he was hot. And it was just, it was a long night. So I know he's really tired um, this morning, but daddy's going to try to doctor him up while mommy's at church. And then, um... When I come home from church, I'm actually making a big spaghetti dinner for like all of my family, like my aunt, my uncle, my dad, my mom, and you go, you know, my family, um, because I have been promising to do that um, for a while. And so today I, you know, already said that I was going to do it. Um, I kind of really don't want to do it because my baby's not feeling well, but I already told everybody that I was doing it today. So I'm just have to um, get that done. So yeah, that's what the plan is today and oh you guys look my locks i'm getting really used to my locks like i haven't got a retwist in like i think it's been like a month and i i feel like even though like i have a lot of new growth and whatnot and it's frizzy i feel like um it still looks nice so yeah got bare minimum of makeup on feeling good y'all the new year is coming it's time to feel different 2019 we're gonna just brush it behind us and move on right let's go all right y'all so my dad and i just left church it was a great sermon right dad yes by pastor bayless conley yes it was awesome if you live in the local what is this considered uh, this is cypress this is cypress california but like what is the surrounding areas los alamitos Long Beach. Los Alamitos, Long Beach, Anaheim, um, Garden, Grove. Garden Grove, those areas. I would suggest if you're looking for a church, and especially if you have kids, they have a great um, children's program. Um, it's called Cottonwood, and what are the cross streets? C it's Catella and, and Walker. And Walker. Catella and Walker. Check it out. But yeah, so now we're on our way. We're going to go to the store. Um, get the rest of the things I need for the spaghetti. Um, I don't know. But are we getting something to eat? Yes. We're going to stop and get something to eat because we're really hungry. We didn't eat, both of us didn't eat breakfast this morning. And then I'm going to go over to my parents' house and um, make the spaghetti. I called Jay to check on Bryson. He said that um, he woke up, still said that his head was hurting. So he gave him that um, children's Tylenol and he fell right back to sleep. So obviously Bryson is just really exhausted because like I said, he didn't sleep much last night. Um, I think he's maybe having um, a headache from coughing 
or um, having like a si like sinus pressure because me and him, we both have really bad allergies. So I think that's possibly what's going on with him. He does take um, Claritin for his allergies. Um, but I think with the mix of that and the cold, um, his head is, you know, probably throbbing. I've, you know, definitely been there um, plenty of times before. And he's only three years old, so he doesn't really know how to explain that. All he knows is that his head is hurting. And, um, yeah, he's, um, you know, upset. He didn't get much sleep last night. So, so yeah. Um, or, what is he saying? Oh, sorry. We're, um, like him. Ooh, child. Anyways, they have crossing guards out here. This is how legit the, <laughs> they got crossing guards. And so he's, um, you know, telling people which way to go. And they have these arrows pointing left and right. And this lady's trying to turn left, but she's not in the left turning lane. She was in the right turning lane. And he was just telling her, like, next time, you know, whatever. Oh, he was explaining to her nicely. And then she's still, like, trying to go when he has this, like, hand up to tell the other people to go. And he's like, no, no, no. And so, like, he was like, okay, like, like hurry up and let this lady go. Because clearly she don't have directions. <laughs> oh, the male. Mm. Well, you know, women do have better driving records oh, than males. Right. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, me and my dad went to go eat, and now I'm at my parents' house, and I'm getting ready to make the um, spaghetti for the family. Um, so I already have my big pot of water boiling, and then what I'm going to do next, um, while that boils, I'm going to, um, you know, season up this um, ground turkey because my mom doesn't eat ground beef um, so I'm gonna um, uh, brown this ground turkey and then put that in my um, sauce we have leftover sauce from our um, spaghetti dinner we did for the homeless and so we have this big old one left but I don't think it's gonna be quite enough so I just got an extra little one instead and then uh, the meatballs i'm i'm not i don't feel like making homemade meatballs so i just got these frozen ones from winco um by armor and it's italian style meatballs um and i my mom <laughs> okay so random my my dad and my uncle are gonna eat the spaghetti my mom and my auntie do not eat spaghetti noodles they don't like spaghetti noodles so look i gotta be so extra with um, making them food that I have to get them elbow macaroni just to make just to make them um, you know accommodate them but whatever it's cool I don't mind I'm in a little bit of a cooking mood today so um, I'm, about, I'm preheating the oven for these meatballs they, they say to cook the meatballs for about um, I think it said 8 to 11 minutes I don't go by those people's um, <laughs> instructions i think i'm gonna actually cook the meatballs for like 15 minutes maybe even 20 um because we like our meat to be done um so yeah that's what i'm doing now um i'm about to get this turkey on so yeah
the reason I put meat in my sauce as well, I just feel like it gives it more flavor. I don't really use turkey meat. I don't really like turkey, but you know, that's what my mom wants. So I'm gonna season up real good and put it in that meat. Um, but to make my um, turkey meat have the same consistency of the um, ground beef, I'm just gonna brown it and then I'm gonna drain the fat and then put it back on the burner and then that starts to make it be more of the consistency of um of ground beef because it can be like kind of juicy and i don't like that um so i just have my meatballs in the oven water is still trying to boil and then i shouldn't have put the sauce in the pan i should have made the elbow macaroni um first in the, before i made that sauce but it's okay i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it work um but um i just don't like turkey <laughs> and that makes it just look way worse my sauce is back there cooking a little bit yeah that's definitely not gonna be enough sauce so i'm gonna have to put that bad boy up in there right now So now, clean up what I can clean up so far. My mom taught me to clean up as I go. Honestly, I'm not that great at cleaning up as I go when I'm at other people's houses. I mean, at my house, but at other people's houses, I definitely clean up as I go. So that is something that I'm working on is making sure that I clean up as I go as, at my house because, you know, it definitely makes the task much easier. I don't know why I don't do it at my house. I just be so busy moving, trying to make sure I get the dinner on, you know, ready for the kids and stuff like that. But I gotta start just slowing down. Them kids can wait, okay? Because then at the end of the day, I got all those dishes to clean. It's like I just cooked dinner, I just worked, and I gotta wash all these dishes. So I'm definitely gonna start working on cleaning up as I go because that is how mommy taught me. Do y'all clean up as y'all go? Because I'm telling you, if you don't, you need to start working on it because it'll make your life a whole lot easier. So now let me wash these little bit of dishes real quick.
finish making everybody's plate. Now I'm about to clean up mama's kitchen. And then I can go home to my family and check on my baby. Okay, I finally made it home. My little pumpkin is still not feeling good. <laughs> My little cheeks are red. BJ, do you still not feel good? Yes. Well, I'm glad you're smiling. Daddy said he's been in bed all day. <laughs> now he's putting extras on it because mommy's home, huh? But I'm finally home. I'm going to make some food for my little family and then we're going to watch the new Lion King and then we're going to go to bed later. Why are you making a face? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you making a face for, buddy? Is that your teeth? Oh, your teeth. Wow. What's on your shirt? What are those? Mine is Jim Huh? Mine is Jim Mouse. Is that football? <laughs> and a helmet? Mama, a helmet. A helmet? Yes. That's so cool. You like football? Yeah, I like football. Are you okay? <laughs> Well, I'm happy to be home with my baby. He's still feeling a little warm, but not as bad. Hopefully, we can get his fever to go all the way away. But we will see you in our next vlog. What do you want to say? So goodbye. See you in our next vlog. Say goodbye, Bob.